I mean, the question is, what do you value? What do you really value? Hi, my name is Jason Butler Harner, and I'm a professional actor. You can define that however you want, but I can tell you I've been paid almost 25 years to act. I invested in over $100,000 of student loan debt to earn a bachelor's and then master's degree in this course of study. I'm very fortunate that I also have uh, garnered nominations and awards by practicing this skill. And in 1998, I earned my equity card when I did my first off-Broadway play, my first of many, I'm very happy to say. I value the theater. And specifically, I value New York City off-Broadway theater. I value these institutions and the staffs that run them. And I definitely value the collaboration we have and the art we make that we send out into New York City and the world. Now, one of the ways that you show value in the world, definitely in the United States, in the United States and most definitely in New York City. One of the ways that you show value is through compensation. So I have a hard time comprehending how the cost of living has increased phenomenally across the world and most definitely in New York City, but the compensation for an actor has remained constant. And I can say this because I know, recently I looked at a pay stub from 1998, and I can tell you it is nominally less than what it would be today, marginally less. I mean, a token to ride the subway, a token, by the way, a token to ride the subway in 1998 was $1.50. It's two seventy-five dollars to take the subway now. That's almost double. I appreciate the hustle. It has always been a hustle to be an artist, and it definitely is a hustle to be a theater-producing institution. I appreciate it, I help, I contribute, and I value the work that they do. But the template for how these institutions are run and the budgets has changed over time, and so has the template for how to be a professional actor. The theaters now have a different way of getting money, whether it be through individual donor or corporate sponsors or getting grant money or, of course, through ticket sales. That template has changed over time. And similarly, the template for being an actor and the amount of costs that I now incur has changed over time. Before I see a dollar from my paycheck and off-Broadway, I think they said, uh, what is it, 63% of off-Broadway salaries is about $593. So before I see a dollar of that paycheck, before the taxes come out, which will be about half, 10% of that paycheck goes to an agent, another 10% goes to a manager, sometimes 5% goes to a business manager, and sometimes another 5% goes to a lawyer. That's an incredible amount of money before I see a dollar. You know, there was a time when those people at a low salary, at a hand-to-mouth salary, like Off-Broadway, there was a time when those uh, institutions didn't take this salary, but now they feel the pinch, so they need that money as well. It's all changed. The construct of actually compensating actors has changed as well. The construct has, but the compensation hasn't. I have a hard time understanding that. And I know that when an actor says something is unethical or unfair, that there's an idea that we think, well, you know, artists, they're incredibly naive. And you know what? Truth be told, <laughs> you value the humanity and hope and possibility and naivete that I have when I am acting. You value that gift that I have watched and garnered over time. You know, as the actors have come into these theaters, when they were just artistic whims, and we have fanned the embers of a theatrical institution, and now some of them have grown into just beautiful, blazing beacons of theater and possibility and creativity and creation. But the compensations haven't changed over that time. So I have a hard time understanding how operating budgets and staffs and salaries of staffs and physical facilities of theaters has grown exponentially, but the salary for the actors and stage managers has remained constant. I don't understand it. 
because you can't value good modern art and theater and discourse and yet still pay an old salary. You can't value collaboration and truth telling and change in the world while still adhering conveniently so to an outdated construct of compensation for an actor and what an actor's worth and value is. There's a disconnect. I think it's time that we value the lives in live theater. And so I think it's time for a fair wage on stage. And I hope you do too.